Hey everyone. So I've been giving you updates on rigging my boat and stuff. Uh, one cool thing, I just broke this boat in yesterday. You can see, I'm gonna give you more details on exactly how I finished rigging all this thing. But one thing that is very crucial, you have to have a keel guard on your boat of some sort, whatever brand you choose to use. Uh, there's lots of options out there. Personally, uh, I use the this one. Kill guard, it says right there, the original do-it-yourself kill guard. So Phoenix doesn't put kill guards on at the factory. So it's something that I do myself whenever I get my boat. And this is a easy one to put on and it lasts all year. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through this project, show you how easy it is. It comes with everything you need just about to do the job. Uh, some other things I add to it is I make sure I got a box of paper towels, some masking tape, and just a little thing of Windex. And uh, and you can see down here I got my creeper so I can get underneath the boat. And I'll show you this real fast. Uh, you know, I think it's easier if you remove the spare tire real quick. Phoenix has an easy way to remove a spare tire. It's just a single nut U-bolt that goes underneath here. You need a three three quarter socket and you can pull that right out of there and then you can easily remove the spare tire and give yourself more room to work with right here um i'm gonna go from about right here behind the wings and i'm gonna go to pretty much where those where those bunks are right there because i want that keel guard to protect the the part of the boat when i pull up on the bank to to dock my boat to uh to maybe get to get my truck to load the boat up or if you're fishing a tournament and you need to bag your fish and go up to the weigh-in you need to be able to pull your boat up on the bank if they got gravel or something like that it will tear this part of the boat up right here so i like to go far enough with the kill guard where it'll protect me when i pull up to the bank and it doesn't tear this part up it's not really necessarily about this part like everyone thinks it is it's more about this part back here uh for when we beach these things on the bank so i'm gonna get started on this project it's a couple little things you gotta do to prep it and then we'll move into actually installing it so i'll uh i'm by myself so i can't really video the whole thing so i'm gonna video certain steps and get back to you so stay tuned okay i did some prep work already a big part of this deal is uh, taping the area off and then sanding it. So I'll show you real quick. You use a, the, the kill guard is five inches wide. So you want to tape off, you, you know, not all the way five inches, probably uh, four and seven eighths, uh, 15, 16 so, you know, you want to leave yourself a little bit of space, tape it off, and then we're going to sand this area so we can apply the primer. I'll show you my area that I taped off. You see, down through there, I just use blue masking tape. And you, on a Phoenix, you're going to go all the way to the first wing, just behind the first wing right here. And then I'm going to go all the way back to <coughs> that roller back there um that's where i installed it last year and at the end of the season after putting my boat on the bank a few times to to uh, to dock for tournaments and things like that i didn't have any gravel damage at all so that's a good spot and that didn't affect the performance at all so we we got that taped another prepping tip is you see i laid out my kill guard and i just put this is my my socket set and a bottle of soap down there. I just stretched it out while I was prepping the tape area. So this can be as straight as possible. And then uh, if you have one of these right here, this helps. I got 220 grit sandpaper on there, or it comes with the Scotch Guard. This is really all you need, but if you have one of these, why not use the power tool if you have it? And then use this to work around the the hard to get areas like around that roller ball and things like that. Um, and then it comes with this uh, this glue right here, or this is, that's not really glue, this is a uh, primer. 
and they got instructions how to use this primer. So we're gonna sand the taped area, then we're gonna clean the tape area really good, really good, and then we're gonna apply the primer, and then we're gonna let the primer dry, and then they have a double-sided tape, or they have tape and then a 3M adhesive on the bottom of the kill guard. And so once, I'll show you, I'll get to that step next, but they got some simple instructions with some, with some tips to do this a little applicator tool in there. And uh, I read the instructions, it's, it's real short instructions. I read them and did what I needed to do. And now I'm gonna get to sanding. And then the next step is sand the area, clean it and apply the primer. All right, now my area is sanded and I'm ready to apply this primer. They have detailed directions on how to activate this primer. Um, it's pretty simple. You just need to follow the instructions, but uh, you'll see my prepped area right here, just the best way I can. You see my, my prepped area. One of the key things after you prep the area, you sand it, you wanna clean it really good, and then you wanna let it dry. Uh, before you try to apply the primer. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and then I'm gonna ap apply the primer. And one of the steps says to let the primer sit for at least five minutes before we install the actual kill guard. So this isn't a glue, this is a primer to help set the glue that's on the actual kill guard. So I'm gonna do this and uh, we'll continue. Okay, I'm, I'm done prepping. I've sanded and applied the primer, and now it is time to apply the actual kill guard. So this is the bottom of the kill guard. You see, I've had it stretched out the whole time I was doing everything else, so it lays flat. And then uh, they got a center piece, this, this piece in the middle, this tape. That is the, the black, when you see black, that's the actual 3M glue. So you don't wanna touch that at all. Uh, so you use this center tape right here and you kind of start peeling it back and then you're going to use this center part to just run it down the very, very tip of the keel. I hope you can see that. The very, very tip of the keel and you'll guide this down the end of the keel. I'll start right here at the, at the wings and I'll work my way down in my taped area and it's so... The tape area is right on the edge of where my keel would be. So I'm gonna leave the tape on just to use as a guide. And then I'll remove the tape from the edges. And then the last two things you'll need to finish the project, I have my scissors. And I have this little tool that they send with it. And this is made to push the air out of the keel guard. Um, this, what's cool about this keel guard is, it comes in an eight foot section. So however long you want to run it down your keel, uh, you know, you just cut the excess when it gets towards the back. Leave the rounded part towards the bow of your boat because that's kind of the finished edge. And when you get towards the back, you just cut it straight across with a, with a pair of scissors. It's just rubber, it cuts pretty easy. And then you, and then you, uh, you finish it up. But then you pull the tape off the edges, or well, you pull it down the center and you guide it, and then you kind of work it out of the edges. Uh, and then you start applying it using this tool to apply it up there and then you can pull your tape off around the edges and you kind of finish those very little edges up. I wish I can have someone hold the phone while I do this process, but it's really easy. Um, it only, it's only going to take me about five minutes to do this part, but I just can't do both 
I don't have enough hands and uh, the GoPro is not charged. So we're doing the best we can. Um, another cool thing about this is once you apply this kill guard, there's no curing time. So if I wanted to, as soon as I'm done with this, if I want to go to the lake and go fishing, I can do that. Um, so that's a big deal. I don't have to let it sit overnight or anything. So we're gonna stick this thing on. It's just, it's just basically a sticker. And I just wanted to show everybody how easy it is to put a kill guard on your Phoenix boat. Um, it's it's really simple. And it's, it's this kill guard's pretty cheap as far as cost goes. So it's it's a it's a absolutely necessary thing to have on your boat and you don't have to spend some kill guards are really expensive you don't have to spend that kind of money and you could do it yourself so that was the whole point of this video so i'll show you the finished product as soon as i put it on All right, there it is. There's the finished product. Uh, the whole job took me about 30 to 45 minutes. Doesn't take very long. You know, another tip that I can give you is uh, take the take the tone, the, the trailer jack, jack the bow of the boat up as far as you can. It gives you, a, you got a pretty good extension on that Fulton jack to jack up the bow of the boat as far as you can. That gives you a little extra room to work with. Again, remove the spare tire and uh just follow the instructions on the on the kill guard uh from megaware that was a megaware kill guard but follow the instructions on that it's real easy and um you'll be able to beat your boat on the on the boat ramp a lot of times i'll pull my boat up to the the actual ramp and if there's no way to to um if there's no dock space or if it's a lot of ramps i launch at don't even have a dock they just have a ramp or sometimes the ramp isn't angled correctly and the boat will, the, tr the tailgate of the truck will be halfway in the water just to have enough space to be able to get the boat on correctly. So a lot of times to keep from, if you got tennis shoes on or if it's cold, you could pull your boat up right to the, to the, uh, to the dock, I mean to the ramp and jump out onto the deal or whatever and then um back your back your trailer in and uh you don't have to worry about scuffing up all your keel and everything you can back your trailer in and then climb into the tailgate of your truck so you don't have to take your tennis shoes off and everything else so being able to beat your boat is a big deal with a lot of these different places we go to and uh i just want to show everybody how to put on a keel guard that's one of my little rigging that was one of my goals this year is show people the things I do to get my boat ready to start the season. So hope this helps and look forward to showing you guys more videos over the coming days on how I get this Phoenix 921 Elite ready to start the 2020 Bass Pro Tour. Uh, you know, it's a couple weeks away. I think it's like 16 days from now. So a lot to do. I still got to get the boat wrapped, the truck wrapped, and still got to rig my gear and organize my tackle. So I'll, I'll, I'm almost done with this and I'll show you guys the whole finished product of this whole boat as soon as I'm completely done with everything. A couple more things to do and I'll be done and I'll give you guys a full walkthrough.